story. Yeah, I got a story. I mean, it sucks, but, uh, well, here goes nothing. driving a Subaru Brat down Interstate 5. I was taking a bunch of video games to some laundromat in Portland. And suddenly there was this flashing neon green light and I felt myself being lifted from the driver's seat to the passenger's side. I looked to see who was driving and there was this long-haired guy wearing the robe. I said, hey, you don't, you don't look like you have a Class B license. It says, where I come from, you don't need licenses for anything. I say, oh, so you're from Reno, huh? And he goes on, where I come from, time has no beginning and no end. The future and the past exist in the same continuum. And I say, oh, suburban Reno. He says nothing, and he steers the truck to an off-ramp, and damn near locks the brakes, and drives to a little hole in the wall and gets out. Inside, there's this smell of patchouli mixed with beer and a shower of plastic tick darts. The jukebox plays nothing but Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. I say, hey, what is this place, hell? He laughs and says, hell? <laughs> we got no need for hell, buddy. We're in Olympia. shoves about nine more lucky loggers down my throat and makes me smoke a carton of GPC menthol cigarettes. And after he's done playing about 40 bucks worth of pull tabs, I turn and say, so, you know, what's the point of dragging me out of my way to this place? And he says, son, have you ever been overwhelmed by urges of holiness? Have you ever wanted to make sacrifices you just felt you, you weren't capable of? Have you ever wanted to be recognized for the vessel of goodness you are and get in touch with your noble sensibilities? I mean, everywhere you look these days, it's just take, take, take. Nobody wants to give. But now you're in a place where you can express your feelings and share them with others. Isn't, isn't that a wonderful thought, he asks? And I say, well, not particularly. He says, well, good luck getting a job. the next two hours staring each other down. Finally I say, you know, I'd, I'd really like my Marlboros back, can I have them? Not a second later he pulls me up and shoves me back in the truck and makes me sit on a UW Husky seat cushion. He says, all right you little precocious twit, you don't like this place? I can understand that. Well, let's just make like a disco inferno and burn this mother down. And before I could answer back, the truck it just starts flying over the city. He drops gallons of kerosene over everything. He drops a match on the co-op and it burns to the ground. He drops a match on the Capitol Theater and it burns to the ground. 
drops one on Farmer's Market. Poof. It drops one on McCoy's Tavern, but it blows up because of all the aerosol hairspray. Yeah, he drops one on Evergreen, burns it to the ground. And he drops one in Sylvester Park, burns it to the ground. And all he leaves standing are the shopping malls and the fast food joints. And he turns to me and he smiles and says, there it is, Tacoma. Building landed here in my town All the people go 
dedicated to the people down there at Bread and Roses that eat and work. Free food for the people. Here we go. You go down to Bread and Roses, you get bread. You get bread. You go down to Bread and Roses, you get bread. You get bread. They got lots of kinds of people there with lots of kinds of poses. Get on down, down to Bread and Roses and get fed. And they got bread, they got bread, San Francisco street bread, and they got bread, they got bread, they got blue hair on bread, they got bread loaves for your red stoves, they got roses for your nose. Get on down to bread and roses and get fed. 
And they got wood, they got bread, they got bread, and it's good for your body and your head. Uh, Jesus walked on water and so did his good friend Moses. They went down to bread and roses and they got, got bread. And they got soap, they got soap, they got donated soap, and they have hope, they got hope, they have created some hope, ain't no dope to help you cope, only soup and lots of fruit, so get on down to bread and roses and get fed. And they got wood, they got bread, they got bread, and it's good, like I said, Yee-hoo. you could stay home and pick your noses, or instead what I propose is get on down to bread and roses and get fed. Yeah, before this story closes and the food that decomposes, get on down to bread and roses and get fed. You could listen to the Sandman, or on the other hand, get on down to bread and roses and, and get, get fed. fed. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Sparky, Rich, and Kai Oh, they said that this would never fly Yeah, they said this would never go But now they're making mad dough Yeah, old school Look, Dad, Sparky, glad to be alive Cars on blocks, but not to drive Can't even pizza in NYC in his gold Camaro, the guy, the guy you want to be, look at Rich's thumb, totally the totally prehensile, he's the one, pick up the utensils, Kai, K-Y, multifaceted, laid back guy, guy. guy. stick to him, like paper to, to a fly. Yeah, they started as a laugh, but now do the math, they're staying up late just to count the cash, old school. Kenny, Sparky, Rich, and Kai They said this would never fly Yeah, they said this would never go But now they're making mad dough Old school Do you want some fish up and eaters on your evil Knievel pizza? Old school Sonic 76, Body Rocker Dwala, Run DMC, yeah, Obi-Wan, Cola, no refills, no refills, no refills, old school. All right, we're out of here. The slices are up, the time is up.
Summer. They're almost there 24 hours a day. Marco. Marco, the game starts around 6 in the morning. Marco, they're eager and antsy from being in car trips. Marco, coming from Oregon or maybe British Columbia. Marco, Marco, who knows where they really come from. But I lie on my bed. Marco. Trying to sleep. Marco, the sweat coating my body like breading on fried chicken. Fish out of water. Marco, most of the curtains are closed, shut at the Ramada Inn. But if Marco, you are open to reveal men in boxers on the telephone or on bed, Marco. 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 The kids are monks or witches. I'm not Marco. really sure which. Marco. Heat of summer. Sometimes it's hard to sleep. One, two, ready, go. One shower, two shower, three shower, four sweat Get shower, go. Go there in the dark. Give me. One shower, two shower, three shower, four, switch shower, go! about the, 
the big shark that lives in that lake down beneath the Capitol, Capitol Park Lake. Back about 1995, I left Evergreen very much alive. But I'd have never went swimming down a Capitol Park if I would have known about the Capitol Shark. Well, I took off my clothes and I stuck them on the shore, very unconscious of what was in store. Swam way out in the middle of the lake I saw a big dorsal fin and I started to shake Well I hoped for a second that I was just dreaming But the fin got closer and I couldn't stop screaming So I pulled out a bottle of underwater mace And I sprayed that sucker in his big ugly face Back, he squirmed and he bucked But needless to say I knew I was fucked I mean fish food Cause when I turned around and started the paddle I saw a boat full of barracudas That had just arrived from Seattle Well the capital shark was long and lean His skin was gray and his eyes were green Well he had the nerve and he had the spark And there never was a fish like the capital forward and I couldn't go back so I braced myself for a shark attack I plugged my nose and I closed my eyes I said a quick prayer and I waited to die next thing I knew I was in the air capital shark had tossed me there when I came back down I knew I was dead when the capital shark cold ripped off my head shark was long and lean, his skin was gray and his eyes were green. Well, he had the nerve and he had the spark, and there never was a fish quite as fishy as the capital shark. Well, for my spirit had left my brain, I said, hey shark, tell me what's your name? said, I'm Senator Gorton, but you can call me Slade. All you hippies and punks better be afraid. Now here's the thing about swimming and fishing. It's kind of like voting for some politicians. You jump in the water and you're gonna get wet. That's the moral of my story. Please don't forget. Shark was long and lean, his skin was gray and his eyes were green. Like money, yeah, he had the nerve and he had the spark. And there never was a fish quite as fishy as the capital shark.
Joey's in the trance town, he's got it ready.
job to do. Take the hill! Take the hill! Take the hill!
bus. It's a tiny town and I'm not small enough for you. My time ain't big enough for the two of us. It's a busy time and I don't have time to wait for you. But I can't sleep, 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 I can't sleep. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. I'm not small enough for you My time ain't big enough for the two of us It's a busy time and I don't have time to wait for you I've been hurt so many times Would you hurt me some more? <laughs> Thank you. 
June 3rd, um, what goes on? Uh, for those of you with expensive sound setups, English import Andrew Austin gives you the dictaphone. This is Olympia, you're my friend. It was a 
Long vacation in a great big nation I guess I could have gone just anywhere But a town with a heart would be a head start Full of people who seem to care So I went downtown to take a look around Hiding inside from the rain again In the public spaces I see friendly faces Olympia! You're my friend, I know one day I'll have to say goodbye. But until then, I've got to live my life. So I went to the mall and I felt so small there. Even though I'm standing at six feet five, sitting in the park until the sky is dark. Makes me feel so happy to be alive Well I thought it would be scary and I was a little wary I only knew one person but she's worth ten And now I kind of believe I never wanna leave Olympia! You're my friend I know one day I'll have to say goodbye I'll hurt and then I'll hurt again and cry.
pole, batting up my woes when a DJ played my song. Uh-huh. 